हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम इन अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर माय सेल्फ दलजीत कौर आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ फिजिक्स मेड इजी कोटा इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द एक्सट्रेंसिव सेमी द फर्स्ट वन इज द एंड टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर विच मीन्स दैट डोपिंग द टेट्रावेलेंट सेमी कंडक्टर विद पेंटावेलेंट इम्प्यूरिटी वी कैन टेक द पेंटावेलेंट इम्प्यूरिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल आर्सैनिक विच हैज फाइव वेलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन इट्स आउटर शेल वेन आर्सैनिक एटम इज एडेड इन टू द सेमी कंडक्टर क्रिस्टल इट रीप्लेसिस सिलीकॉन एटम एंड सेटल्स इन द लेटेस्ट साइट ऑफ रीप्लेसड सिलीकॉन एटम एंड दिस आर्सैनिक एटम फॉर्म फोर कोवल एंड बॉन्ड बाय शेयरिंग इट्स फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विद नेबरिंग फोर सेमी कंडक्टर atoms but what about the fifth one the fifth valence electron of arsenic remains an accommodator so this electron loosely bound to its parents nucleus and is detached easily even at a room temperature so now the electron become free and it move randomly through the crystal in this way we add a large number of the free electrons and the large number of the free electrons are available in the crystal when we add a small amount of the arsenic to the crystal structure so in this type of the semiconductor there is a large number of the free electrons majority charge carriers in this type of semiconductor are electrons and the minority charge carriers are holes which are thermally generated thus this type of semiconductor is called as the n type semiconductor and this is a one type of the extrinsic semiconductors since each pentavalent impurity atom donates one extra electron to the crystal so it is known as donor impurity next semiconductor is a p type semiconductor when suitable trivalent impurity is added to the pure crystal for example in germanium crystal or a silicon pure crystal we get extrinsic semiconductor and that extrinsic semiconductor is known as p type semiconductor so in this case the trivalent impurity atom which has the three valence electrons are added and the trivalent impurity atom is also known as a acceptor atom because it create a hole which can accept an electron from the neighbor bring bond so a trivalent impurity atom say indium atom which has the three valence electrons when such atom is added into the silicon crystal this atom replaces one of the silicon atom and settle in the lattice site of replaced semiconductor atom so this indium atom form three covalent bond with the neighboring three silicon atoms and the fourth bond remain incomplete which has a deficiency of one electron so this deficiency of electron is called hole so we can say in the figure also there is a creation of the hole and this hole always behave like a positively charged particle then this hole start attracting the electrons from the neighboring covalent bond to fill itself now a new hole is created at a side from which the electron has been attract to fill this hole in this way a number of holes are formed by adding more and more trivalent atom in the semiconductor crystal so here are holes created by the acceptor atom hence holes are the majority charge carriers and electrons are the minority charge carrier the semiconductors doped with acceptor type impurity are called p type semiconductor and why this is called as the acceptor type impurity because each trivalent impurity atom accept one electron from the valence band of the silicon so it is known as acceptor impurity and this semi conductor is known as a p type semiconductor so now the question come in our mind what is actual definition of the hole hole in actual the it is vacancy or it is called as the absence of the electrons in the bond of the covalently bonded crystal it has the same mass as the removed electron it is associated with a positive charge of magnitude small e it means that it show the nature opposite to that of the electrons 
सो नाउ हेयर इज अ कंपेरिजन बिटवीन द पी टाइप एंड द एन टाइम सेमी कंडक्टर वी कैन क्लियरली ऑब्जर्व दैट इन द पी टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर देयर इज अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ द होल फॉर्मेशन सो द होल्स आर द मेजोरिटी चार्ज कैरियर्स एंड फॉर द एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर देयर आर द लार्ज नंबर ऑफ द फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच बिहेव एज अ मेजोरिटी चार्ज कैरियर नाउ टू रिकॉल द कॉन्सेप्ट हेयर आर फ्यू क्वेश्चन एज असाइनमेंट नंबर वन वॉट इज होल नंबर टू नेम अ चार्ज कैरियर इन एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर नंबर थ्री वॉट टाइप ऑफ इम्प्यूरिटी इज एड टू ऑप्टेन पी टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर नंबर फोर वॉट टाइप ऑफ चार्ज कैरियर्स आर देयर इन अ एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर so we can classify metals semiconductors and insulators on the basis of their conductivity metals possess very low resistivity so they have the high conductivity whereas semiconductors has high resistivity or conductivity intermediates to metals and insulators like the resistivity for the metal varies from 10 raised to power minus 2 to 10 raised to power minus 8 and for the semiconductor 10 raised to power minus 5 to 10 raised to power 6 ohm meter and for the insulators they have the very high resistivity or low conductivity semiconductors are of different types the first one is a elements semiconductor like these semiconductors are available in the natural form and they are created from the elements for example silicon semiconductor germanium semiconductor these are the elemental semiconductors or element semiconductor second one is a compound semiconductors these semiconductors are made by compounding the metals like by making the compound of the two elements like germanium arsenic such type of the semiconductors are known as a compound semiconductors in this video we are going to learn about the semiconductor devices and there are the large number of the advantages as they are small in size they can easily operate at a low voltage they consume less power they have high life and the long durability band theory of the solids in a substance as many atoms are close to each other the energy levels of the atom form a continuous band where in the electron move this is called band theory of solid we know that in an atom the protons and the neutrons they are taking the part in the center of the atom that is called as the nucleus the electrons they revolve around the nucleus in the definite orbits and all electrons in the same orbit has the same energy the electrons in the innermost orbit which are completely filled they have the complete valence electrons whereas the electrons in the outermost orbit which do not completely fill that shell are called conduction electrons we can consider example of the silicon and the germanium as they have the four electrons in the outermost shell so now we can classify conductors insulators and semiconductors on the basis of the conduction band so depending upon the respective position of the valence band and the conduction band first of all we are going to study about the conductors the conduction band and the valence band partially overlap each other and there is no forbidden energy gap or no any energy gap in between them the electrons from the valence band can easily move to the conduction band and hence large number of electrons are available in the conduction band so for such kind of the materials their resistance is low and conductivity is high for insulators we can see that a large energy gap exists between the valence band and the conduction band the energy gap is so high that the electrons from the valence band cannot move to the conduction band so there is no electron in the conduction band so electrical conductivity is not possible 
Now for the semiconductors, we can say there is a finite but a small energy gap exists between the balance band and conduction band. At room temperature, some of the electrons acquire energy and then they go to the conduction band and hence they have some little bit conductivity but not more than the conductors. Hence at a higher temperature, they show the high conductivity as more number of the electrons can go but their conductivity always lie between the conductors and the insulators. Their resistance is also not high as the insulator so there lies as the intermediate between the conductors and insulators so there are the two types of the semiconductors intrinsic semiconductor and the extrinsic semiconductor so for the intrinsic semiconductor is that is the pure semiconductor free from impurities so also they have the low conductivity and their conductivity is known as the intrinsic conductivity so we can consider the example of the pure germanium and the silicon both have the four valence electrons one thing to keep in the mind that semiconductors always have the four valence electrons so when the temperature is zero kelvin so in the crystal structure of germanium or we can take the example of the silicon four valence electrons form the four covalent bond by sharing of electrons with a neighboring atom each covalent bond is made of the two atoms each from one atom respectively by forming covalent bond each germanium atom in the crystal behave as if the outermost orbit of each atom is complete with eight electrons and they have the no free electrons because they create a bond by sharing and there must be the eight electrons in the last shell and what happens at a room temperature the conductivity is possible at the room temperature if the electrons break away from the covalent bond and are free by the thermal energy. When electrons break away from the covalent bond, then empty space or vacancy left in the bond that is called as a hole. An electron from the neighboring atom can break away and can be attracted by the hole, creating hole in their respective place. So hence we can say that in a crystal structure, we see electron break break the covalent bond and they keep moving. Similarly, due to the attraction of the hole and the electron, hole also keep moving in the crystal. So thus, breakage of a covalent bond produce one free electron and one hole in the crystal. In an intrinsic semiconductor, the most important thing that number of holes is always equal to number of the electrons. As many number of the holes are created that are always equal to the as many number of electrons that break their bond. So Ne is equal to NH is equal to Ni. Ne represents the density of the number of the electrons. NH represents the density for the number of the holes. And Ni represents the number density for the intrinsic semiconductor. And for the energy band theory, there is an energy gap of about 1 electron volt between the balance band and the conduction band. At temperature 0 Kelvin, in terms of energy band theory, the balance band is full but the conduction band is empty as no electron is available in the conduction band for conductivity. So, the crystal behave like electrical insulin later but at room temperature thermal vibrations of atoms provide energy to the electrons in the balance band to cross the energy gap and moves into the conduction band as the free electrons this result in the electrical conductivity of the semiconductor as the electron moves from the balance band to the conduction band so there is a vacancy created in the the balance band and this vacancy is known as hole as the electron moves in the conduction band the hole moves in the balance band and the electrical conductivity is possible so in this way at very high temperature when electric field is applied the hole moves towards the negative potential giving rise to the hole current and the electron moves towards the positive potential giving rise to the electron current. Now the second, what are extrinsic semiconductors? Extrinsic semiconductors are not at all pure. These are those semiconductors which are made by doping a pure semiconductor with the impurity. 
they are of the two types n type and p type in n type semiconductor the electrons are the majority carriers while the holes are the minority carriers whereas in p type semiconductor the holes are the majority carriers while the electrons are the minority carriers thank you for 